What is going on? Tamar Braxton files boyfriend files for restraining order it indicates domestic violence. Oh my gosh. Tamar Braxton's boyfriend is running to court asking for protection against her in what he describes as domestic violence situation. The singer's boyfriend, David Adefaso, filed for a restraining order Tuesday in L.A. seeking to prevent domestic violence, and he's asking a judge to grant him one against Tamar. For now, it's unclear what he's alleging she might have done. It doesn't look like the court has approved his request just yet. We're reaching out to Tamar's team to get more info, so we have not heard back. What? Another sign that things have been volatile lately in her life, especially as it pertains to David. Remember, he's the one who called 911 not too long ago saying Tamar was threatening to kill herself. He also mentioned her WeTV beef to cops at that t at the time. Also keep in mind, family sources connected to Tamar have told us they believe she's changed since with since getting with him, claiming her mood seems to align with his. We've also been told that David has come off as controlling in Tamar's reality show and that he's been in quite involved in her business decisions as of late. What? A restraining order? The girl just got through like trying to take herself and now he's now it's a the domestic violence dispute. This is this is this is the product of this is just toxic because Tamar has been if y'all don't know she's been in two domestic violence abusive relationships before. This is a pattern. She needs serious therapy and we all need therapy. I think everyone needs therapy in these times because people are losing their minds. We all need to go sit with somebody and just talk. Point blank period because how you go from almost like taking your life, thankfully she did not then it's like your boyfriend is filing a domestic violence restraining order against you. What is going on inside? It's it. She's in inner turmoil. She she's in so much pain and in so much um inner turmoil that she's taking it out on everybody. And it's like you don't know them personally. You don't know what goes on in their lives internally. But she was sexually abused and she never dealt with that. So now she's in therapy. And I know that they're digging up things in her that she probably don't even want to talk about. So who knows? Maybe that's a result of her having to deal with her demons. But clearly the girl has demons and you can't love anybody or be with anybody when they're fighting their demons. You have to leave them alone to fight their demons, you know, and love them from afar and support them from a distance while they do that. It's kind of like how your partner is maybe addicted to drugs, but they got to go to rehab. You can't sit in a rehab and go to sleep with them. You got to leave them at home and, and love them from a distance while they get their self, themselves together because it's a personal journey. So she basically, it's a personal journey and she has to basically do what's right for Tamar and do things that will make Tamar better and make Tamar um, happy and help Tamar to come to terms with what happened to her and heal or at least start the healing process. If not, she's going to constantly be in these toxic relationships. She's going to constantly, she needs to address her childhood abuse. She needs to address her, those abusive relationships she was in, two of them, three of them actually with Vince. And it's like if you back to back in abusive relationships, something is going on, something is wrong. You got to you got to figure out what that is. And therapy, I think, is advantageous for us all. We all need therapy. We all need it. Everybody needs to sit down and talk to somebody, point blank, period. Especially during these times, people are losing their minds. And, you know, people may act like they're okay and may act like they're happy, but they're not. Um, a lot of people do that. You know, a lot of people have, like I said, the word is facade. A lot of people play happy, play cool, but they're not. They're miserable. That's why I said... Stop playing with yourself. Stop lying to yourself and just go ahead and make that therapy session and just talk to somebody because celebrities are not just exempt from going through things. And so if they're rich and they're going through things, how much more so can you say somebody else? If they're rich and they're going through things, that lets you basically know that issues, mental health, trauma, relationship issues, you know, all of that stuff does not discriminate because you're in a different tax bracket chow mm, i don't know but all i know is that putting hands on each other is not the move and 
you know, I think she's just taking out her anger and her abuse and her issues out on him, but who knows? Um, but for him to pull out a restraining order on her, for him to get a restraining order on her, that's deep. Like, comment down below and tell me, like, what would be a reason why somebody would get a... Because couples argue and couples even physically fight sometimes, but you, you, you have to have... You have to be really aggressive to have to have a restraining order put out against you, like a restraining order, though. And he knew that was going to go public. Man. Y'all comment down below and tell me what y'all think.